The energy transition that is currently underway in Asia is already having a deep impact on the rest of the world. But the region is also fast becoming a hub for clean tech solutions and innovation, and investments in renewables are ramping up. So how are the region's energy companies and their customers adapting to the transformation of energy systems? Asia is a quite the diverse region with also different needs. So we are now approaching mainly three-way approach. Improve flexibility, coal and gas turbine, combined cycle power plant decarbonizing existing system and low and uh, zero carbon energy solutions. This is the uh, reality we would like to proceed and accelerate before realizing decarbonization is in this region. What we're seeing is quite a number of challenges with respect to business process, convention, understanding technologies, and then business planning where the industry itself are kind of moving through these challenges and commitments that they've made. And with respect to that, we are seeing roadmaps in development trying to manage these targets. Clean energy transitions needs to be supported by people. Without the kind of the confidence of society in the new energy systems, there may be some the problems with it. So the governments and the industries need to make sure that the clean energy transitions is a people-centered one. Asian countries can actually learn the lessons of what's been done elsewhere. And so I think there are a lot of learnings there with regards to power market design and structuring power markets to avoid some of the price volatility that we've seen and perhaps potentially leapfrog to cleaner and different models of sustainable development. And I think first movers in this space stand to gain a lot.